Greetings, friends, and welcome to my domain. Can I interest you in some chocolate? Hey peeps, it's Jess Hale, the Zork Geek, and really, yes, we are trying out Thinking Elvish Fantasy Chocolate. I found Thinking Elvish Fantasy Chocolate on Etsy, and this is a two-person team out of Buffalo, New York, and all their stuff is actually very Norse, with names like Mjolnir's Mike. What's really interesting about these bars, well, one interesting thing, Victoria Cooksey hadn't heard of this brand before I found them on Etsy, so I was like, wow, chocolate no one's heard of. Two, these guys are actually cocoa butter bars. So this would be in the realm of probably white chocolate then because it's cocoa butter based, not going with a full cocoa liqueur or full cocoa bean. They're going cocoa butter all the way and they're really interesting infusions. And the particular reason I decided to go with them is that they made a strawberry bar and I found strawberries, while the idea of strawberries and chocolate go together really well, the execution is often lacking. So, we're gonna taste test. You, me, four bars. Let's do this. Of course, before I get started, I gotta ask you guys to hit those like, subscribe buttons so I can bring you more delicious dessert action. We have four bars to go for. Loki's Luck, which is peppermint infused. A Doomblitz Milk, which is chocolate milk. Valkyrie's Loom, cocoa butter. And Mjolnir's Mite, which is almond milk and vanilla. So we'll start with the closest thing I have to their plain bar. They did have one with coconut, I just feel like almond milk and I wanted to be able to taste as much of the cocoa butter as possible. So the ingredients, really nice combo. We've got cacao butter, cane sugar, almond milk, vanilla bean. That's it. That's really nice and classic. I do really like the packaging. It's not resealable, but I get the impression that this bar, given it's like this tall, you're probably gonna finish it in one go anyway, but it's just, you can tell how much they really love their stuff. Like this is clearly, their game all the time. These are probably peeps who plan their whole lives around all the local and fairs and cons and probably do amazingly. I do appreciate also that it's vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and dairy-free, so basically everyone can have this chocolate. Okay, this is gorgeous. Like, let's see if we can get this up here. It is already melting on me, which makes a lot of sense because there's lighting in here and it's kind of warm. So let's Give it a try. It smells milky with a little bit of an earthy, nutty tone. Oh, it's so soft. It feels kind of like just like it just melts as you go. There's a little bit of a marshmallowy, almost chemical note at the end, but it's very just soft. And actually there's a good chocolate note there, but then it's nutty and gentle. I really haven't had any kind of white chocolate or chocolate bar thing with this texture that isn't, say, a confection. It's going more towards a truffle softness than a chocolate bar, but it's not as smooth and soft as ganache. This guy is Adumla's Milk. I'm not gonna pronounce that right, so I'm sorry in advance. I used to know the story of this cow. There's a whole big mythos about this cow, and I am blinking on it. I feel like I should be including all their mythos down below somehow. I'll see if I have time for that, I'll try. The ingredients here are cane sugar, cacao liqueur, cacao butter, almond milk, and vanilla bean. This guy is also melting nearly already. It's very soft feeling. It smells very cocoa and there's a chemical smell again, but just, I'm smelling the tannins is what I'm smelling. It's just smelling like the astringency of cacao, so I'm wondering how dark this is gonna actually be. Again, basically no temper, very smooth, but with a real bitterness that I associate more with 70% and up. There wasn't any clear like note to it besides chocolate, maybe a mustiness, but it was actually really interesting because it was so soft. It was like eating there. If you've ever had Patrick chocolate, his bars, especially his brown butter bar, has the same kind of softness where it never seems to fully temper and it just kind of melts. All right, we're going peppermint next. Interestingly, this one's holding up actually better under the lights than what I thought would be the milk chocolate. So it's much, it's a darker bar. It smells like an Andes mint. So I'm thinking they're using a straight up peppermint oil as opposed to say steeping a bunch of peppermint in milk and then using that as part of the ingredient base. Yeah, it smells like an Andes mint in here. Let's, let's try it. I wouldn't call this tempered. It is a stiffer bar than the first two I tried, 
But yeah, it's straight up Andy's Mint all the way with a bit of the tanniness tendency I associate with good chocolate bars. Not much else tasting, just I'm breathing mint right now. So clearly, if you want a super vegan, super Elvis chocolate mint that's not an Andy's bar with step up, that's where you're going. All right, last but not least, strawberry, Valkyrie's Loom. Let's do this. The ingredients are cacao butter, cane sugar, strawberries. I am really excited about this. Check this guy out. What a lovely like pinky salmon color. It smells like strawberries, but there's that sort of chemical note at the end that was like the first bar. So I'm curious to see how that translates when I taste it. This one actually had the best temper out of all of them, unexpectedly. And it tastes like eating strawberry candy. A few weeks ago, I dared myself to try out the Annie's Fruit Roll Up things to see what I thought of them. And if my, and I like to test my palate to see how much I can handle sweetness every so often. It tastes like that. There's sort of a sugary, jammy note to the, the bar. I really do feel like I just tasted like jam, but it's kind of cool to eat a jammy bar. I personally wish it tasted more like strawberries, but that is a really hard note to get in chocolate form. So my quest continues. So that was Thinking Elvish Fantasy Chocolate. I think my favorite out of all of those was the strawberry. It tasted the most like eating something from my childhood and I do definitely look for that in bars. I'd actually like to have that dipped in dark chocolate. That could be a really, really fun layered confection treat. And now I may have to go do that with the dark chocolate downstairs. Like a 60% on that could be really, really good. And I'm glad I got to try them. I mean, cacao butter is still becoming popular as an ingredient. And I'd like to see more happen in the white chocolate realm. We have not fully plumbed the depths of white chocolate awesomeness. We're just getting started. I would love to hear from you peeps in the comments below. Is there anything you'd like me to try? Because I am scouring Etsy for some stuff right now and I've found some doozies. As always, I'm Jess Halzerkeek and I'm hoping that you get to go and eat all the things and maybe try some chocolate. Later!